Once your new pools arrive, it's time to get them installed on your new cabinets. I'll show you how to install your new pools like a pro. If your cabinets don't already have holes, we'll show you how to drill holes and install your new cabinet pools. You'll need a pencil, a ruler or tape measure, a drill with a 3 16 inch bit, a Phillips screwdriver, and some painter's tape. For most drawers, you'll want to place your pulls in the center of the drawer. If you have deep bottom drawers, you can place your pulls higher than center, closer to the top edge so they are easier to reach. Pro tip, use a piece of painter's tape on your drawer front so you can mark measurements without leaving permanent marks on your cabinets. First, use a ruler or tape measure to find the vertical center of your drawer front. Mark the vertical center in two spots on the tape. Use a ruler or straight edge to draw a line connecting the two marks. Then use a ruler or tape measure to find the horizontal center of your drawer front. Mark the horizontal center on the tape. The spot where the two lines intersect is the center of the drawer, and you will align the center of your pool with that mark. Pro tip, use a template to mark the hole locations for your pools. We've included a complimentary installation template with your order. The template includes holes for multiple sizes of pools. Compare the template to your pools and note the one that matches your pools. You may want to mark it with a Sharpie. Align the dotted lines on the template with the horizontal and vertical center marks on your drawer. Attach temporarily with a small piece of tape. Use a pencil or pen to mark through the holes on the template onto the tape for each hole location. Remove the template and set aside for the next drawer. Check your marks by holding your new pull up to the drawer. All good here, we're ready to drill. Put a piece of painter's tape on the back of the drawer where the holes will be. This keeps the drill bit from splintering the wood as it pushes through the drawer frame. You'll need a drill and a 3 16th inch drill bit. Place the tip of the drill bit on your mark and tap the back of the drill with your other hand. This makes a small indentation where the bit will drill and keeps it from moving around. Make sure you hold the drill level as you drill a hole through the drawer front. Drill slowly so you don't splinter the door as the bit pushes through the back side. Now you're ready to attach your new poles. Screws are included with your poles. In each pull pack, there are two types of screws. The standard screw is the perfect length for cabinet doors. It may also work for your drawers if you don't have thick drawer fronts. Also included are breakaway screws. This screw is designed to be broken off to the length you need. We'll set this one aside for later if we need it. Once your holes are drilled, insert the screw into the hole from the back of your drawer front. The screw needs to stick out from the drawer front about 1 4th of an inch. If the screw is too short, use the included breakaway screws. Use a pair of wire cutters or pliers to break the screw to the correct length. Careful not to bend the screw or damage the threads. Align the screw with the holes in the pole and tighten the screw. Repeat with the second screw. Install all of your poles and step back to admire your new kitchen.